Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and for today we will be talking about Echeveria Luella. This is a rare South Korean cultivar and it's really one of those succulents na collectible siya. If you are someone who loves succulents, then these should be part of your collection. Although, yung Luella that we have right now is just locally propagated and not the imported ones. It has these fleshy leaves in the shade of yellow green to apple green and in time it will develop into orange pink tones as you can see here right now especially sa outer part ng kanyang leaves so these colorful edges now would now appear depending on the age ng inyong mga luwela and also of course because of sun exposure if you will be trying to stress them this Echeveria will produce a stem as it grows and will give us multiple offsets, creating a cluster of rosettes. Ayan. So we have here, I think, one, two, three, four, parang five or six rosettes. But what you are seeing right now is a crested na luwela. At some point, pag nagaalaga kayo ng inyong mga succulents, you will definitely have a succulent that is growing in crestate or crested form and it means na yung original plant has sustained some damage or there was a mutation sa kanya instead of having parang ganito yung single lang sana na growing point sa kanya what happened is that nagkaroon siya ng multiple growing points and it would look like this although dito sa luwela natin na ito it's not really that obvious but i have here another luwela kung saan you would really see na there are multiple growing points kaya nagmukhang ganyan yung kanyang itsura. We cannot really say na rare ang ating mga crested na succulents but they are more valuable or since because of their unique appearance, mas mahal yung kanilang prices as compared sa traditional succulent or yung traditional form. So regarding sa kanilang light requirements, this one is located sa ating rain or shine area while this one is nandun siya sa ating filtered na sun area. And you would see the difference in terms of their color kasi once they are stressed or if you will be giving them more sun exposure, then the more na magiging colorful yung kanilang appearance. But you might be wondering na this one is receiving full sun while this one is filtered sun. But why this one is more colorful? It's because of the watering schedule for this i water these every two weeks so that's the interval well this one it will now depend kung umulan so for example this week umulan twice and therefore there is a low chance na mas stress siya. that is also something that you need to consider when stressing your succulents sunlight or sun exposure is not enough you should also be thinking or considering yung kanilang watering needs and i always use rainwater for them if i could collect pero kung wala i can also make use of our tap water but you have to make sure na after watering them kailangan tanggalin yung mga excess na water especially those na nag-collect sa kanilang pinaka rosettes and for my soil mix i'm using loam soil dito and it would now depend kung anong klaseng soil mix ang inyong gagamitin so i would advise na you would keep on experimenting kung anong best na succulent mix para sa inyo kasi we are located in different na locations you really need to experiment on your own Propagating this kind of succulent would be easier if hindi siya crested but since it is crested na ganito, it's difficult for us to do yung ating beheading or stem cutting leg. For example, here, tiba, it's very difficult for us to look for the stem kung saan natin siya i-cut. So even on this side, talagang completely covered na yung kanyang stem. Kaya I'm just gonna be leaving it this way and also it doesn't mean na crested yung inyong succulent if you will be propagating them they will become crested as well so hindi yun possible it will not really depend if there is a mutation sa kanya for this one naman medyo evident yung kanya mga stem so if you will be propagating this you can just simply cut it here and treat it as a typical or normal na succulent air dry for a couple of days before planting and as part of our maintenance, we have to remove yung mga dried leaves na nanjan. Like for example here, ang dami niyang dried leaves. Especially if nagdidilig tayo, nagiging wet siya, nagiging moist, and it's perfect na breeding ground ng ating mga 
mealy bugs and other pests. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.